Hey guys, this is a bodyweight HIIT workout. HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. We're going to be doing 10 moves, bodyweight only, so no equipment required. And that usually means it's very challenging. So I'm just warning you, just because we're not using dumbbells or a medicine ball doesn't mean it isn't hard. It's going to be hard. You're going to get very sweaty. I'm calling this one burn off the wine you drank last night because I went out last night. It was Friday night. I had a few drinks and I definitely want to sweat out all those toxins and burn lots of calories. So I promise you, you will with this workout. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be doing 10 moves. 30-15 interval and we're dividing it into two. So we're going to start with the first five moves and we're going to do two rounds. You're going to take a little break, maybe grab a drink and do the second five moves. So welcome to Short Circuits. Make sure you're warmed up and let's get sweaty. 15 seconds on the timer. The first move is a reverse lunge with a knee drive. The hop is optional. We're starting in three, two, one. One, go. Step back and drive that knee up. You're working as quickly as you can with good form. The back knee is just hovering over the ground. Halfway there. Just a couple more seconds. I know those legs are on fire. Excellent. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Got a little Swedish there. Yeah. Next up is a move I call the half skater. It's a quick hop to one side, landing in a slower, deeper squat on the other, bringing your opposite hand either to the foot or to the ground. And of course, we've got to do the same move on the other side. Damn. The last move in the circuit is kick downs. You're lying on your back, your legs are extended, feet are over the hips, you're dropping those legs down towards the ground and back up. Arms are at your sides, here we go. Try to keep your lower back towards the ground. Get up and get ready to do the whole circuit all over again from the beginning, starting with the reverse lunge knee drive combo.
same move, other side. Next up we have the half skater. Try to make it a little bit bigger this time if you can. Rest and get ready to switch sides. Finishing up strong with kick downs. Here comes the second part of the workout, the next five moves, and we're beginning with snowboarders. For snowboarders, you can either walk it out or add a jump. I'll show you once we get started. Get ready, here we go. For the first couple of reps, I'm starting by just walking it out, getting my legs warmed up, and when I'm ready, I add that jump in. So this is totally up to you. You can jump it out, you can walk it out, you can try a little combination of both. If you need to bring it back down, just do that. Next up, we're coming down to the ground in a plank position for a Spider-Man leg lift combo. We're starting with two alternating leg lifts and then alternating knees to elbow. When you set up for plank, make sure your shoulders are right over the heels of your hands. Your body is in a long line. Your butt is not too high or too low. Brace your core and try to keep your body as still as possible throughout the movement. Come back up to standing and get ready for a fun plyo combo. Three hops forward landing in a squat, three hops backwards landing in a squat jack.
Come down to the ground, sit on your butt, and get ready for a V up, open and close. You're leaning back on your hands, pulling your knees into your chest and out, and opening and closing your legs. Move number five is crab dance. We're alternating sides here, reaching for the opposite foot. Three, two, one, reach it up, let's go. You wanna lift your butt off the mat. You wanna come almost all the way down to the mat again, so you're lifting and lowering. You're squeezing your glutes. You're using your core here, your shoulders, your triceps, your glutes, your hamstrings. This is a total body movement. Excellent job, guys. You're almost there. You're gonna stand back up. You're gonna repeat these five movements, starting with the snowboarders. Just do your best, you're almost finished. Here we go. If you wanna increase the intensity, add a jump. Coming down to a plank position for the Spider-Man leg lift combo. Two leg lifts, two knees to elbow. Stand up and get ready for the hop forward and back combo. Here we go. This one really gets your heart rate up. You should be sweating by now. Sitting down and leaning back on those hands for the V-up, open and close. And this is it guys, the last movement, crab dance. You got this. Work hard, you're gonna move as quickly as you can, lifting as high as you can. Let's go. Push through it. Keep squeezing and lifting. 
Last 15 seconds right here. Last three seconds, two, one, and you are done. Excellent job. Thank you so much for getting sweaty with me today. I'm sure you found it challenging. I certainly did. Every time I do a bodyweight HIIT workout, I ask myself, am I really this out of shape or am I just tired? Um, it kicks your butt every single time. It's one of the hardest workouts that you can do. You do want to keep the interval short so you can work super hard. And as always, it's your workout so you move as quickly or as slowly as you need to. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click the like button. Please share the workout. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. New workouts are posted on Mondays. And until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.